How to build a box using Blender, part 2, materials. To enable Node Wrangler, select preferences on the menu bar and go to add-ons. Search for Node Wrangler and check the checkbox to activate it. You can check the documentation or report a bug in the add-on. Remember to save preferences if you don't have the checkbox checked for auto-save. I am going to copy the box and other objects from the previous video into my new scene. and remove all materials so that I can show you how to make them from scratch. Let's move to the shading view. Select the box and add a new material. Rename it to Cardboard Texture. With the Node Wrangler add-on now enabled, select the principled SDF and hit Ctrl plus T. We want to replace the Image Texture node for a Wave Texture. Select the Image Texture node and hit Shift plus S, then choose Wave Texture in Textures. Increase the scale of the Wave Texture. You can play with the other controls to your heart's content. Add in a bump node and connect its normal to the normal of the principal BSDF. Then connect the color of the wave texture node to the height of the bump node. Reduce the strength and distance of the bump. Now, you have some subtle lines. Add in a noise texture and connect the factor node to the base color node of the principal BSDF. Now you have some noise placed randomly around the box. Looks like dirt. Increase the scale, detail, roughness and distortion to your liking. Add a color ramp in between the noise texture and principal BSDF. Change its color to match that of a cardboard box. I will copy the colors from my reference image.
now, we're going to add the text and icons on the box. Add in an image texture. Then, also add in a mix RGB node. Then add the color from the image texture to the factor of the mix RGB. Choose your preferred image. Note that it must be in black and white. Let's add in a new UV map and rename it. Add in a UV map node and connect it to the normal of the image texture. Now choose the new UV map that you made. Go into edit mode. Select all by hitting A on your keyboard. Add the UV editor, scale down the UV map of the box and move it to a spot where there are no designs. Select the faces you want and then hit you then unwrap to unwrap them. Then move them to places on the image texture that you want. Do this for all other faces. Tip, if the image texture is upside down, right click, then select, mirror X, and then, mirror Y. Go out of edit mode and admire your work.
To change the dimensions of how your work is rendered, change these values accordingly. I want mine to be square for Instagram. You can increase the frame rate of the animation here. We will be using 30 frames for this tutorial. You can change where the frames are stored. If your animation is 200 frames long expect 200 image frames in your folder after rendering. I don't mess with these settings. In render settings, choose cycles as your render engine. You can use GPU compute for faster and smoother rendering if you have a GPU. You can change the contrast of the colors when rendered, here. Now you can go into render view to see your finished work. Psych Add a new material to the box, which is going to be a duplicate of the original material. Make it a separate material and rename it. Make sure the material offset in the solidify modifier is set to 1, and the rim to 2. Delete the UV map, image texture, and mix RGB nodes. Let's add the rim material. Add a new material and name it rims. Select Principal BSDF and hit Ctrl plus T. Change the texture coordinates to generated. Select the image texture and hit Shift plus S, then select the magic texture to replace it. Increase the scale and the distortion. Copy the color ramp from the cardboard material and place it in between the magic texture and the principal BSDF in the rims material. You can make both colors darker variations of themselves to suggest depth.
And now you're done. Render your image and or animation. And that's how you build a cardboard box with Blender. If you like my tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe, and hit that notification bell icon to be alerted when I post new content.